Our second story has to do uh, with Lloyds of London. So Bloomberg Business Week last week uh, had a great article that talked about 18 women describing an atmosphere at Lloyds of persistent sexual harassment, uh, ranging from sexual assault to just unwanted touching. And then we got a response today from Lloyds CEO uh, John Neal. Here's what he had to say. Whether these instances that you reported occurred 10 days ago or 10 years ago, I don't care. Mm. It's just simply not acceptable in this day and age that any woman should not feel safe. Yes, obviously. And I think the question now is enforcement. That's right. It seems like they're trying to rapidly change their culture, but this is a culture that's deep seated and long standing. So the Lloyd's market, in terms of the worldwide insurance exchange that they run outside of inside of London, is essentially about 300 years old. So this sounds like a culture that's been established long term and that they're basically trying to say, hey, this is no longer acceptable. But the question is, how are they going to go about enforcing that, as you said, Alex? Well, and how much is Lloyd sort of out of the norm, right? There's a question of how much much is this an idiosyncratic to this bank versus uh, sort of what people should expect in the city or on Wall Street? That's right. And we've do been doing a lot of reporting over the last year in terms of Me Too and also how companies are trying to address the fact that there's more women in the workplace and there's more women in executive roles, but at the same time that there's still different standards between women and men potentially. And then also, how do you deal with some of the backlash that comes from taking these steps?